Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly love tarot messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. These are going to be general messages so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise this reading here is intended for Taurus, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross watching as well. bottom of the deck you have the two of wands so Taurus I feel like there needs to be a special an important decision that needs to be that needs to be made here in relation to a love connection or in relation to you know the future of this connection here okay um, both the decisions I feel like have pros and cons and uh, either choice or decision that you'll end up committing to just be mindful that you're also committing to the ramifications of that decision here. The Six of Swords below the Two of Wands here. One decision is to walk away or to cut ties from perhaps um, a romantic energy that may not, or a romantic connection here that may not be serving you in, um, you know, in your highest good. Something that may be toxic, unhealthy repetitious going around in circles here something that you may be chasing your tail on here okay um you've come up as the seven of pentacles here the only pentacles in the suit here and this is your energy it's almost like you're waiting here it is an energy of frustration here so you may be getting frustrated with Maybe the way that things are playing out here with regards to a romantic energy, a relationship, a romantic connection here. Some of you, I feel like maybe you're waiting for communication. Maybe you're waiting for someone to make a move, uh, for someone to uh, change their behavior, okay? Change their attitude, their behavior, change the, the things that they say or do here. I feel like some of you are truly invested into this person and into this connection here, which is why I guess walking away from this connection you know hasn't been easy if it were such an easy choice and such an easy decision i'm sure that by now you would have made that so seven of pentacles it's you're definitely you know it's this sense of you've invested so much of yourself and so much of your time and your energy into someone or something and definitely you know you're not seeing the results here okay um you're not seeing the results maybe this person here is you know they're filling you up with empty promises they'll say they'll say that they change or they'll say that they leave, leave a third party for you they'll say that you know they'll become a better person and they'll work on themselves or they'll kick this addiction to the curb or they'll you know improve on their behavior so and here you are you're sticking it out and you're waiting for that time when suddenly you know everything will change here the problem with waiting is that you know for some people or some things you could possibly end up waiting forever which is why it may be good to give yourself a time frame or a timeline okay a bit of an expiration date for whomever or whatever it is that you're waiting for because i can see that this is unhealthy and i can see that the longer that you stay in this type of a connection it's draining you of your energy whether it's your physical, your emotional, your mental, your spiritual energy, it's obviously taking more away from your happiness than it is contributing, you know, to this happiness. And I feel like I understand that, you know, the devil brings in an energy with it that is very addictive, very consuming, obsessive, possessive as well. And I understand it's not just, you know, a simple choice of walking away from something that feels so intoxicating and so consuming but the longer you stay 
much like Adam and Eve in the picture here, the longer that you know you begin to resemble and you um, you begin to resemble the devil itself. Um, you know, the longer that you stay, you begin to, you know, the deeper the rabbit hole goes, right? So it's definitely damaging to your self-esteem here. I can see that there's a lot of fears, anxieties and insecurities in this reading, okay? And maybe that's what's keeping you trapped because both the cards to the side of the Seven of Pentacles to me indicates that someone feels like they have no clear way out. Someone feels like they're, tra they're trapped or restricted by their set of circumstances. Someone, unfortunately, is allowing for maybe their insecurities, their flaws, their fears, their anxieties here to dictate their action, okay? And what's it doing is it's keeping them paralyzed. It's keeping them immobilized because they're scared to make a move. They're scared to, you know, they know that whether it's you or your energy, they know that, you know, they have addictions to cut, to dismiss. They know that, you know, they have to improve themselves, they have to do some inner work, they have to do some healing here, they have to confront some pain, um, some insecurities, okay, but this person is not ready, they're not ready to do it, so they may acknowledge it, okay, they may not necessarily be in denial about it, and I guess that's a good thing, but I feel like they're either too far gone, they're like in too deep here, or they just feel so helpless, okay? They just feel so helpless that they're allowing themselves to be consumed, you know? It's also a feeling of victimization as well. This person feels like things are happening to them rather than for them. Some of you, you may be in a third-party situation. You may be having a love affair here with someone who's already married or who's already committed and despite you knowing that you know it's not the right thing to do you can't pull away from this person you know you're drunk on their love you're intoxicated or you know vice versa here um i don't see anyone dropping the third party i don't i don't see um because i just feel like whether it's your energy or this person's energy i just feel like they're immobilized here i don't see any actions being taken any big moves being made here purely because this person is scared okay they're scared of um, you know stepping away from the life that they built up even if their current set of circumstances aren't very comfortable and aren't very healthy it's what they know even if it's painful or toxic you know those elements of pain and toxicity are essentially a sense of normality maybe this is someone who grew up in such an environment but where pain toxicity um you know abuse emotional physical or mental was always present and to them it's just sort of been embedded here okay it, they're sort of just being conditioned to accept that as a sense of normalcy so this is the other reason why i feel like someone here is having such a hard time moving away from something which clearly needs to be um you know uh broken um it's a sense of powerless, it's a sense of, sense of imprisonment. I feel like making a decision, okay, making a decision that um, is going to align with your highest good, that is going to um, put you in a, a much more healthier and happier place, is going to be probably one of the best things, if not the best things you'll ever do, okay? It's what's going to, I feel like what what will really get you some forward momentum and some progress here is making that decision committing to a decision and moving forward here okay then uh taking some action towards that decision because i feel like a lot of you you want to manifest happiness you want an ideal partnership you want love and you know you want to love and you want to be loved in return you want a happy healthy home and i i see that some of you even want to help this person and you're even I mean, I feel like you've invested so much of your time and your energy into this person or even into the past similar with similar relationships. I feel like for you, there's some sort of attraction towards birds with broken wings, okay? Because a part of you wants to nurse and care and nurture these type of souls here. But I feel like it's important for you to also understand that you can't go out, you can't go around rescuing other people, okay? As much as, you know, um, that would be ideal, um, sometimes people don't know that they need to be rescued.
okay um and at the end of the day you know who's rescuing you so as much as you want to help this person i feel like they need to help themselves uh, first and foremost and it's a journey that they'll have to undertake in solitude okay all right guys so these are your messages so thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing subscribing for those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Um, otherwise, bye for now.